Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's January 15th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Dan Bingham and Grant Dewey from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Uh, gentlemen, thank you for being here. Uh, market is continuing to, uh, to get back into gear in the new year. Uh, still not a ton of new issue activity, but uh, some interesting trends in the secondary and the, uh, the uh, rates markets. Uh, Dan, why don't you take us through those? Sure. Thanks, Mike. Um, so we're starting off uh, uh, January, and we've seen some pressure on the rate side of things. The 10-year Treasury got up to about a 117 this, uh, earlier this week. is currently at a 110 um, as market participants are, are expecting larger spending out of Congress and with that um, higher rates. Um, in the municipal market, I would say that we've seen pretty pretty consistent January effect um, so far this year, um, as we've uh, come into the come in into the new year, um, issuance has been relatively uh, light. You know, expectations for this year are as high as 500 plus billion. With that, you would expect about 10 billion per week of issuance. January historically has been one of the lighter issuance months. But last year we saw a six billion, or last week we saw a six billion of issuance, and next week expectations are for a six billion as well. So below the 10 billion average that uh, some participants might be expecting. Um, and with that, we, we've also seen uh, cash inflows pretty uh, pr tick a little bit higher over 2 billion this past week. Um, you know, as I say, typical January effect um, that uh, you get the uh, beginning of January reinvestment of uh, cash back into the market um, and it's uh, driven uh, municipal ratios to historic and record lows. The 10-year uh, year ratio hit 67 percent, 67 and change percent is currently at 69 uh, percent. Um, but to put that in context, uh, institutional accounts, corporations, uh, insurance companies with a 21 percent maximum corporate tax bracket shouldn't be involved with the municipal market when you get through 79 percent. So our market is uh, trading in, in very, very rich territory. How long that remains is going to be is going to be the big question in here. That's a really interesting point, Dan. So um, you know, you, you mentioned the market does appear to be uh, reacting to the prospect of stimulus and a stronger economy driving rates higher. Is anyone reacting to the prospect of higher tax rates under a Democratic administration? Yeah, they, I think that's been uh, uh, on the back burner right now. I don't think people are, are expecting that. You know, be, prior to the election, I think there was concern or, or uh, expectations that if uh, there was a Democratic sweep, that you could see uh, corporate rates going up to the 28% level. Uh, you could see individual rates going up to 39, uh, back to that 39.6% level. Um, but I think given the economy and, and the challenges we're facing, the tax increases has at least been put on the back burner. Good point. So uh, Grant, as, as Dan mentioned, the uh, primary is still a little bit quiet. Uh, BAM still uh, had some interesting transactions this week. Can you walk us through what you saw? Sure. Uh, they were, you know, it was, uh, as Dan mentioned, a relatively moderate uh, primary uh, new issuance week, and and uh, but the deals were met with incredibly strong demand. The, the, the story in our market continues to be, you know, very favorable technicals. So, uh, BAM uh, priced 175 million in the primary market uh, this week. Some of the highlights included a 36 million dollar. Uh, Sterling, Illinois, uh, taxable deal, the Bernardi price. Uh, it's a full faith and credit uh, GO of the city. Uh, we also were on a $28 million uh, Harrisburg Community College District deal, uh, which was tax exempt, and uh, a $15 million Fallbrook Sewer Cal deal, which qualified for uh, BAM's Green Star designation. So, um, you know, we expect uh, next week to be a little bit slower with the uh, Martin Luther King holiday uh, on Monday and supply is still, you know, pretty light right in that $6 billion range, uh, which is what we saw this week. So it includes a large uh, $1.5 billion New Jersey Turnpike uh, deal, uh, a billion of which uh, will be priced um, as taxable by by city. So uh, we should have about $100 million, uh, uh, at least 100 million or so um, uh, of BAM insured paper. We're doing a $38 million Addison Fire Protection District, also in Illinois, which is non rated A plus underlying. RW Baird uh, will be doing that. Um, also, the competitive calendar, as you'd expect, is is fairly light. There's just a billion three 
uh, coming next week, uh, and uh, a quarter of that is uh, Texas PSF uh, deals with permanent school funds. So, um, yeah, I mean, you know, we saw another 2.6 billion uh, added into the municipal bond funds, 10th Street week, uh, high yield funds saw inflows of 1.1 billion, which is well above the previous high um, in 2017 of 800 million. So uh, the market continues um, to perform very well. Great, and so uh, thanks for that. Uh, we'll watch uh, Dan's point of that $10 billion a week bogey uh, to see if uh, things start picking up. I do know uh, one uh, programming note, the uh, city of Sterling is also gonna be back in the market with a tax exempt portion, uh, probably pricing the week of January 26th. Uh, if any of our viewers wanna learn more about that transaction specifically, we do have a Credit Insights video available on our website, so you can uh, move over to elsewhere on YouTube and find it there. Uh, thanks guys for your time this week. Uh, enjoy the longer weekend and uh, the Martin Luther King holiday. We'll see you next week. Thanks a lot, Mike. Thanks, Mike. When the market is unpredictable, BAM gives you certainty. In the face of market volatility and illiquidity, BAM-insured municipal bonds deliver default protection, value preservation, and a durable AA rating from S&P. BAM's insurance protects against everything that causes a default, and adding BAM-insured municipal bonds to your portfolio is easy. Talk to your investment advisor, visit buildamerica.com, or look for BAM-eligible bonds on the Perform Portfolio Management System. BAM. Build America Mutual.